how are we all doing today? Yeah, we uh, <clears throat> did our usual routine, walking and talking and, and talking about these plans about this weekend. And uh, yeah, a lot of talking. We'll see what happens. But uh, you know, we was talking last night too about this uh, this third level council of gods where uh, everyone eventually meets up and all you guys in the good news crew are going to be there for that party when uh, we blast the trumpets for the father to be born up there yeah like I said we actually go there first and we prepare for him to come <clears throat> and uh, we have a big party and uh, or they do and we are part of it and uh, then the rest of you go back. And then what you do is you tell everybody in heaven about this place and what it's really like up there. Because it is even different from the realm of what heaven is. But um, see, that's the idea of growing and evolving up there that's happening. See, right now, even up there, heaven is evolving. Um, for thousands of years, they have looked at uh, sex as being bad and something we must refrain from and uh, other things like that. Because that's how the father was taught in his early years, and, and so that's what he passed on to his children, and that's what it was. And then he got his eyes opened up by the Council of Gods, and he's let his hair down. And uh, again, that's the number one thing that me and and Deb, if she chooses to be the queen, are going to be about, is letting people understand that it's okay to have fun. It's okay to have fun. We'll set up parameters that you just don't want to cross those lines, but... We're definitely going to have a whole lot more fun than they have for thousands of years up in heaven. Because they've been walking around with a righteous corn cob up in their ass. And uh, they, they think that's the right way to act. And even though Jesus and Mary has tried to get them to change and to understand <sighs> old dog, new tricks kind of things. So heaven itself is having to evolve and to realize that it's okay to have fun. It is okay to have fun. There's just certain things you can't do and you just don't do those. But like I said, do we all walk around with a righteous corn cob in our ass? No. That's not what we're supposed to be about. And so there's some malprogramming up there on the top side that, that needs to be changed. And evolving up there on the top side is uh, something that we're all going to do towards the third king and things of realiz realizing a balanced path of having fun but still remain righteous and do the right things and make the right choices and you remember I was telling you about that merit badge about understanding their purpose yeah that's what it is it's a pass that you get to go to the third level and live there if you like because uh, only the righteousness of the people of the children get that pass and that's our journey once we leave here is to understand what the councils of gods are really about and how it works and what it really is all about and balancing a path that makes us to where we have fun but we still do the right things and make the right calls and make the right decisions. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, been talking about that. And I'm sitting there thinking, dude, I'm barely in my first job. I, I, I don't want to talk about the third job, okay? I'm, I'm having enough trouble with the first one here, okay? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a struggle here. Not too bad, though. To tell you the truth, he pretty much is running the show at this point in time. I'm just... Uh, a vessel that uh, cruising around with him and me 
and uh, we're doing what he wants me to. And uh, yeah, we're beating the hell out of this uh, vessel too, let me tell you. It's actually in probably better shape than it's ever has been in its life. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're leaning the garbage truck down. I don't know what I weigh anymore, but I know I don't know what I weighed when we started all this. I, uh, as far as stamina and strength and feeling inside, I'm, I'm rocking. But again, I'm only 57 years old, dude. We should be rocking at 57 years old. You know what, though? There was a day in an age when 57 was like, dude, that guy's like halfway in the grave. And he's halfway there. Because we didn't have medical care. We didn't take care of ourselves. We didn't even have a clue as to how in the hell these damn avatars worked. But now we do. And we're starting to do the right things and, and live a, a, a life that is a little bit easier on the avatar. That's why the extension of life... You know, it, it takes us to 70, 80 years old to die nowadays because, you know, we, we've actually got a little smarter about taking care of our avatars. And the way of life has gotten much cleaner and much more uh, educated. And uh, But we've still got a long way to go. And it starts with getting this message and this information out. And giving the doctors the power they need to let the people understand hey you want to you want to do good in boot camp come see us and and listen to us this time okay listen to us okay that, here, here's how it works okay you eat these kind of no you're diabetes dude you can't here's a diet that you got to follow all right oh you got a high blood pressure here's what you got to do buddy or ma'am okay and uh, sorry you got a real serious alcohol problem we, we got to treat that. We can't let you go on with an alcohol problem. You know, whatever it is, you need to start trusting the doctors to do the right choice and make your vessel last as long as it can. And uh, give yourself as much chance to get as many points as you can in boot camp. Because it is about your scorecard. And uh, doing the right thing and living the right life. And understanding how the council of gods can screw with you. Because that's what they do. That's their job. That's what it's all about. But it's not because they want to be mean. It's because they want us to be close to our Father. They want us to have that solid connection with Him. So that we make the right choices. And so if you're running around with check engine lights on. Okay, your heart's not really true. And it's not pure. But if you got those check engine lights off. And you're listening to the Father at night, you know, you're good to go. And you're going to be a happy path. And you're going to have boot camps going to be not so damn bad. And the top side is going to be beautiful and excellent. That's what people have to evolve to and to understand. This is his holodeck. He's in charge. You have free will to screw with it. But you'll pay. You will literally pay for it. And there's no way out. So, do what you will. But make the right choices. And do the right things. Because uh, I want to help you evolve. I want you to understand the real meaning of life. And that's what I'm here about. And I get to do it without no damn magic tricks. I, I can't walk on water. I can't change water to wine. I can't do a damn thing. Uh, yeah, all I can do is give you the logic of God. And then you got to do it with your heart. And find out, yeah, you know, his message does make sense. And, uh, you know, it, it does sound awesome to live forever. I'm kind of cool with that. Especially in a teenager's avatar forever. Well, a little more older than a teenager. We don't go around as teenagers. We look young. We look very young. But uh, they don't do teenager as you might think it's more like college students yeah just imagine us all college students everyone up there is in college and to tell you the truth that's the attitude you want to have too is to continue the work and to continue to understand the deeper meanings of what the council of God is trying to teach us and what it means to be truly righteous but have fun because we don't balance that we don't balance that at all. We have literally, you either righteous or you had fun. You didn't have both. Uh, some did figure that out. 
and some had an awesome time. But there's one thing I want to point out to you, too, that I want to make sure that you guys understand, okay? See that, that best friend of mine? Yeah. Like I said, don't even want to talk about God. Don't, no, that's not in his wheelhouse. There is nothing in his life that's going to let you believe, him believe, that there's a God and there's an afterlife. But here's the thing. He's already an angel. And he's going to get in there in angel status. His scorecard's probably not going to be all that awesome because he's really messed up on some points. But he's going to be up there with angels, though. And uh, doesn't want to talk about God. Doesn't even want to believe in it. That shows you how much God cares about your praise. He does not give a high and flip about praise. What he cares about is you and you being a decent person. That's what gets you in the door. Not blowing smoke up his butt. Literally. Being a good person is what gets you in the door. So everyone that says you got to believe in God, no, you don't. Okay? All you got to do is be a decent person. But down the road with the avatar theory and, and giving him a thank you, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Because it shows respect. It shows that, uh, yeah, okay, I, I do believe and I do understand. And thank you, Father. And then leave it at that. Get back to work. Don't sit there all night long. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to God. Praise to God. That's not how it works. But, uh, again, check this information with your heart. And you'll find out. Do you really think our God needs our praise? Do you think he doesn't know he's already awesome? I mean, really? Are, are, he's all about having his ego fed? Is that really what he's all about? Or is it about love and caring for his children? And if he loves and cares for his children, what do you think praise does for him? Honor and respect each other and take care of each other. That's praise. And that's a way of making him feel blessed. So if you really want to give him a gift, there you go. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to relax. I'm worn out.